Hello and welcome to the Nikon D5200 channel. This is just a very quick video to talk about the auto timer off uh, settings. Now obviously the camera is set up to switch itself off if it's been left uh, for a certain period of time. Um, that can be rather annoying frankly if it switches off too early, uh, though obviously it does help to save battery life. But if it switches off all the time, then it tends to eat into your train of thought and distract you from what you're actually trying to do. So in order to change that, the thing to go is go into menu and drag it down to uh, custom settings. And you will find here on C, as you go down, timers and AE lock. Now we'll do AE lock uh, at another occasion, but what we're interested in here is timers and we will see here that in timers you have C2 auto off timers. Now you have various choices here if you press the OK you have short, normal, long but I think most people will probably want to do their own thing and therefore choose custom and if you just press the right pointer here it gives you the choices and the amount of time you can have uh, this camera on for without as I say actually uh, pressing any of the dials. So you can go on to uh, playback and menus. For example, you can go here and it gives you a choice of anything from eight seconds up to 10 minutes. And if you go back, then you can have similar choices for image review, live view, and standby timer. I might actually, uh, oh, I'm not gonna knock that up to 30 minutes, so I'll keep it on a minute, I guess. Um, and uh, having done all that, uh, you just press OK and you revert back to the previous menu but those settings are now changed and saved and you have saved your auto off timers and hopefully saved yourself uh, some of that pulling the hair out feeling when you're just about to do something with a camera and you realize it switched itself off and I hope that was helpful.